Hi Chelsea fans, it's Monday, it's the 7th of September and this is a Chelsea transfer news update and there's plenty to feature today including Ethan Ampadu, Eduard Mendy, Rubikari Samari, Kennedy and David Zappacosta. Stay tuned, let's get cracking. So first up, as featured in yesterday's video, Eduard Mendy, the Ren goalkeeper, the 28-year-old Senegalese goalkeeper who stands at six foot six, an imposing goalkeeper, is now almost confirmed that he'll be a Chelsea player. A deal could be completed in the next couple of days, according to this tweet by Simon Johnson um, on behalf of the Athletic, and the Athletic is a creditable source. You have to say. Watching Edouard Mendy and some of the qualities that he's got, that he's going to bring to the role, he's going to provide competition for places for Kepa straight away. I've sat and watched him in detail over the, the past 24 hours. He's got good reflexes and positional sense. He, he makes himself big when he comes out and he's looking to close players down, which is good. He's got good anticipation. He's got good positional awareness. And he's just an imposing character. It looks as though Chelsea have made him the number one goalkeeping target from reputable sources and, of course, the Petr Cech link with Wren as a club who he was with before he came to Chelsea has come to fruition and he's using his negotiation skills to try and get a deal done. They're talking that a deal could be done all in for around £23 million. He would come in and provide direct competition for Kepa for Kepa's place. And you'd have to say you'd probably start as the number one with Kepa to fight to get his place back, with Willy Caballero reverting to number three. So that's the first big announcement that, that's appeared today with Chelsea's transfer window. It's still going, and there's still more signings coming in the door by the looks of it. So expect Eduard Mendy to sign for Chelsea this week. We just wait for confirmation. Next up is an update with Ethan Ampadu and I made a case yesterday saying that the Chelsea squad seems a bit top heavy when you're looking at defensive midfielders. More on that in a second. And I looked at the possibility of Ethan Ampadu becoming an integral part of the Chelsea squad with his versatility, playing as a centre-back or in defensive midfield. You can forget everything that I've said yesterday because it looks as though he signed a loan arrangement with Sheffield United Tom Rowe, a gentleman on Twitter, has tweeted a photograph which looks like Ethan Ambadu having his picture taken in the middle of the pitch with the deal to be announced shortly. Ampadu's going to go away on loan for a season. A lot of people will be disappointed with that. I'm going to be one of them, I have to admit, because I thought with his flexibility and his versatility, we could have used him this season. His defensive qualities are better than Jorginho's, they're better than Ross Barkley's, they're better than Loftus Cheeks. And if we lost Nagolo Conte, you have already made not a replacement, but someone that can step in with that defensive mindset. But he's gone. He's gone to Sheffield United on loan. What do you guys think about that news? Post your comments in the comments section below. Talking of defensive midfielders, there's another update. And the update is another tweet from Simon Phillips Sport, who's a creditable source, stating that Chelsea could still target a defensive midfielder, especially with Ethan Ampadu going, before the transfer window shuts, as you can see on this tweet here. The window shuts October the 5th, which still got a few weeks left of the window. West Ham are trying to spend money. They're trying to buy Tarkovsky from Burnley. They've had a bid rejected. And... They're going to need money. So Chelsea are still looking at Declan Rice on their wish list. But another name that's being linked with Chelsea and Chelsea's interest, which was registered back in January with the likes of Man United and Liverpool eyeing up this particular player, along with Arsenal, is Bubakari Samari, the Lille defensive midfielder. 21-year-old midfielder who's valued at around 22 million now having looked at this guy he's six foot two he's got good experience having come from psg from their youth side into lille and he's agile he's skillful he's got great technical ability he's powerful he's strong he's quick 
and his passing, his passing range is, I have to say, is impressive. Could this guy be the alternative to Declan Rice if Chelsea cannot get that deal across the line? I know people are umming and ahhing about Declan Rice, whether or not he's a Chelsea player, or if we sign him, would we sign him with a view to make him a centre-half or a defensive midfielder? But Samari is on that list and he's someone as the alternative. But it looks as though Chelsea will face competition. With the news that Chelsea are still looking for a defensive midfielder, does that mean, as per my video yesterday, with the so-called reported players on the Chelsea transfer list, the likes of Jorginho and Danny Drinkwater will be gone sooner rather than later? I guess we just have to wait and see. Further updates that appeared today with players that are potentially leaving the club this week on loan and first up as tweeted by David Ornstein Chelsea winger Kennedy having a medical with Granada ahead of the loan to La Liga club it's his fifth loan since he's been at Chelsea since 2015 he's still under contract for two seasons but it looks as though he's going to be going back to La Liga on loan this season secondly is news as tweeted by Carefree Youth that talks between Chelsea and Atalanta about a season-long loan deal with the buy clause at the end of it have got more serious over the last few days with regards to David Zappacosta. If you haven't seen one of my videos yesterday, which was the transfer list, the nine players on there, Zappacosta was listed on there as one of them. Chelsea will be keen to try and get a deal done with a loan arrangement with a small fee first with the clause to pay a substantial fee at the end of it maybe 20 25 million the same sort of deal they're looking at when it comes to Tumi Bakayoko and AC Milan although looking at reports today it seems to have stalled but Chelsea and these players sort of going out the door is beginning to gain momentum and there's one player who's put on social media today that it seems as though he will also be leaving on loan this week and that's Danny Drinkwater. As you can see posted up on his Instagram today from Cobham, Danny Drinkwater has posted this, liked by Marco Van Inkel, believe it or not. Danny Drinkwater's posted this, being challenged in life is inevitable, being defeated is optional, back at Chelsea only for pre-season, working hard trying to get fit and be in the best shape I can for wherever I go next. As much as I would love to be settled at a club like I should be, the unknown is kind of exciting. So we've seen Chelsea busy with getting players in through the door. Looks as though the revolving door is in full effect with players that will be going from the club starting this week and in the next few weeks leading up to the end of the transfer window. It's a busy old period as we look to build to the beginning of the Premier League season starting a week today when we face Brighton away. So that's it today guys for the Chelsea transfer news updates. Let me know what you think about anything discussed in the video from Mendy, Ampadu, Samari and the players leaving in the comments section below. Smash the like button for me then subscribe to the channel but make sure you hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss my videos come out. Thank you so much for all your support. Make sure you check out the other videos for more content from my channel. Remember smash that like button, subscribe, comment. See you all next time.